and welcome to the Lindy's Sports Post Game Report. We're coming to you from the Charlotte Regional in Charlotte, North Carolina from the Spectrum Center. First game today featured a 7-10 matchup with the Texas A&M Aggies taking on the Providence Friars. And Coach Tony was a close ball game back and forth, but when it was all said and done, Texas A&M will advance on to play North Carolina on Sunday with a, was it 73-69 victory? Hey, that's, that's correct. Look, uh, down the stretch, A&M, they, they made the shots they need to make while Providence, they were having a difficult time making their shots toward the end. And the big difference in that game too, Coach Tony, was the the size of Texas A&M. When you've got 6'10", 6'10", 6'9", in there with the people they've got, I think that they had two players actually had more rebounds combined. The two 6'10 post players for the Aggies had 29 rebounds between them, whereas the Friars only had 26 total rebounds as a team. That's right. And the, the Friars, they were having a difficult time making shots inside as well as outside while uh, – you know, A and M. They, you know, they knocked down a few outside shots, but basically they were an inside-oriented team. And Coach Billy Kennedy said that the the big difference in the game about the eight-minute mark that Texas A and M, the Aggies, were able to get a couple of long rebound runaways and had a couple of breakaway layups that gave them a little bit of a cushion, and they were able to hang on. That's correct. Cause it, you know, it's pretty much uh, you know nip, nip and tuck, but. You know, for Providence, uh, the Friars, you know, they, they kept hanging in there till the uh, horn went off. So the first game of the day goes to Texas A&M, and the second game of the day, the North Carolina Tar Heels, who came in as a two-seed, took on the 15-seed Lipscomb team out of Nashville, Tennessee, a team that had scored, what, 106 points in their conference win uh, to make it to this game. So yesterday, Roy Williams, uh, during the practice here, was very concerned and compared this team that they were playing today to Walford, to Belmont, some teams that had beaten them, though. But the Tar Heels came in, I think, did an excellent job of playing perimeter defense today and were able to really shut down the three-point game of Lipscomb. And after a, a quick start where Lipscomb got off the first eight minutes with lead, North Carolina kind of took – charge of the ball game right i agree with you coach in regards to uh you know two-point shooting uh they, they hit like 35 percent and on the other hand from three in which uh i know they rely upon dearly they were like seven out of 28 so they hit they hit 25 percent from uh three-point land while Tar Heels hit a very good uh 40 percent from uh three-point land and I think a big difference in the game, too, the Tar Heels, and when they play like this, they're going to be hard to beat. They had balanced scoring. Looking down the scoring sheet right now, they were led in scoring today by Kenny Williams with 18 uh, points, and he was four out of five from the three-point line. With a double-double was Theo Pinson with 15 points, 10 rebounds. Also in double figures, 14 points, Joel Berry, uh, Cameron Johnson, their, their normal three-point artist, Chipped in with 12 and with 10 points, Luke May. So the entire starting five of the Tar Heels were in double figures. Hey, you're absolutely right, Coach. I, th I thought they distributed the ball extremely well, and I saw a lot of good playmaking, especially when you got a point guard like Joel Berry out there. He knows how to distribute the ball, and he knows how to put up shots when they need to be put up also. And again, this basically was a home game for North Carolina, playing in Charlotte, where Roy Williams has never lost a tournament game in Charlotte. I think 12-0, and 0, he said he's never played against the building, but he would like to politic and declare that all of his NCAA tournament games will be played in Charlotte. Hey, I don't blame Roy. I tell you what, he's a highly successful, but I tell you what, he's got some players too there, Coach, and they seem to be really mending and blending in at the right time. So that sets up the matchup now coming up on Sunday. The Texas A&M Aggies out of the SEC will take on the North Carolina Tar Heels out of the ACC, uh, ACC SEC matchup. So, again, Tar Heels get it done today. They outscored their opponent kind of by 43-34 halftime score. They outscored them 41-32. So pretty much a balanced thing of North Carolina having just a little bit more uh, in each half. The bottom line on that is they pull away with 18-point wins. Hey, you're right there, Coach. Hey, I'm, I'm looking forward to that, that game on Sunday. I think the uh, Tar Heels will win, but I, I think it'll be a pretty close competitive game throughout. So that is our matchup, so our wrap-up today for the first session here uh, from the Charlotte Regional of the NCAA Tournament. 
You are watching the Lindy Sports Post Game Report. He's Coach Tony. I'm Coach Cox. We'll be back throughout the tournament to bring you reports on the NCAA basketball. Until then, see you later. Hey, enjoy that road to the Final Four. <laughs>